So is it okay if we take a, a slightly lighter look at some of the news stories and legal issues kicking around these days? Because relieving stress by laughing every once in a while, like justice, matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So let's take on a topic a little bit on the lighter side today. And I think few politicians are lighter weight than Senator Ron Johnson, which is actually probably unfair to Louis Gohmert. You know, the guy who wanted to alter the orbit of the moon to fight climate change. You saw that? Here's the headline from NBC News. Lunar New Deal. GOP Representative Gohmert suggests altering Moon's orbit to combat climate change. I mean, so much for parody. So, fewer politicians are lighter weight, have less gravitas than a guy like Senator Ron Johnson. You probably saw that YouTube just suspended Senator Johnson's account. Here's the headline again from NBC News. YouTube suspends GOP Senator Ron Johnson's account, says he violated COVID-19 policy. And specifically, they suspended him for violating the COVID-19 medical misinformation policies. You know, folks, I would say that Ron Johnson acts like a child, but frankly, that's unfair to children. Most of them don't get banned from social media. And remember, not too long ago, Senator Johnson also told the American people on camera, Antifa attacked the Capitol on January 6th. You remember that story, this from BuzzFeed. Senator Ron Johnson told Capitol security officials that fake Trump supporters started the Capitol riots. Johnson, who refused to condemn Trump's lies about the election, suggested Trump supporters were not actually responsible for the January 6th attack. Well, guess what, Senator Johnson? There's actually a perfect remedy for that an investigation of who's responsible for attacking the Capitol on January 6th. An investigation will prove that you, Senator Johnson, told the American people the truth, that it was Antifa that attacked the Capitol. So let's take a vote. Senator Johnson, I'm sure you're in favor of such a commission, such an investigation. You know, and of course, Ron Johnson says, um, no, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. No investigation. I vote nay. So shouldn't there be some test, some screening process, some minimum requirements to run for office? You know, how about who's smarter than a fifth grader? Candidates edition, right? I mean, you can see it, can't you? Uh, candidate Gomer, question for you. Can we alter the orbit of the moon to fight climate change? Candidate Gohmert. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. The answer's no. No, we can't. Candidate Johnson. Who attacked the Capitol on January 6th? Was it Antifa or Trump supporters? Candidate Johnson? Antifa? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was Trump supporters. Maybe you missed all the Trump flags. Now, look, folks, I'm sure Ron Johnson was a fine, quote, executive in his brother-in-law's polyester and plastics manufacturing business before he ran for office. Did I mention that parody is dead? 
But let me finish with 30 seconds of seriousness because the Johnsons and the Gomerts of the world will continue to offer the American people the big lie. We'll continue to sow discontent. We'll continue to try to undermine confidence in our elections. We'll continue their assault on our democracy until the big liar is arrested, is held accountable. And then I can almost promise you the Gomerts and the Johnsons of the world will stop lying to us, will shut their mouths, because then they will also understand that they're at risk of being held accountable. And accountability, like justice, matters. As always, folks, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow when I get back to more serious legal analysis.